All right, so auto save, and we are going to be in the red or what? Yeah, insufficient. 233 militia disband. Oh boy, no planning at all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel update. So it's been a long time in coming after a long uh, LP series of this uh, great game called Dragonlance 2 and a great mod uh, on it. 1.13, it's a match made in heaven basically. And uh, in that heaven, I spent around um, two years, eight months, and 27 days. Yeah, so that was the amount of uh, time that I spent in creating this LP series and uh, 240 episodes, working out to be around 242 hours, which is pretty interesting because it works out to be an hour. Uh, anyways, yeah, so it's been uh, one of the more um, grueling thing that I've done, but I don't really regret a minute of it. I don't, I don't regret it, especially when it comes to great games such as this. So maybe I shouldn't really play great games because it's going to take me, it's going to engross me so much that I really can't abandon it uh, because, you know, I think I'd be missing out on some of the, you know, cherished memories that, you know, you guys definitely provided, you know, with your comments and suggestions, definitely spurred me forward. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play a product by Zertek. Zertek Canada as you can see by the Maple Leaf. Uh, beside the S. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah, so it has been uh, totally one of the one kind of experience that I'm going to remain maybe for the rest of my life. I mean, two years and eight months, 27 days. It's one of the longest things I've done for anything. Um, for any purpose, except for maybe school, uh, and that didn't really turn out right. So I think this turned out to be the best thing I ever did. Wow, one of the best things, I think. Uh, now that I look back on it, and maybe um, I don't know whether I'll be able to top this, but let's see if some other great game, you know, comes by and then uh, captures my attention. Probably look at how long did it take to beat the website to see whether I'll be spending another two years and a half and creating an LP series of it, but you know, from now on, I think I'll be editing a bit more heavily uh, and providing you a more concentrated experience because, um, you know, I check out, you know, sometimes I check out YouTube studios and, you know, see people like checking out um, like eight minutes out of one hour. I feel, what the hell am I doing uh, sometimes? But then I think when I started doing this, I did this in a way that I did all my previous Let's Plays doing, um, minute by minute, second by second, point by point, um, click by click examination of what I do in a particular game. And I think from now on, I think I'd be more, I guess, selective in terms of content editing and uh, selecting the content for consumption because uh, I think the trend nowadays is more quicker, uh, faster, shorter. So I think more concentrated form is going to give that uh, the more user participation and retention. Um, I don't know what kind of terms that YouTube uses, but yeah, more um, interaction. And, you know, I don't want to waste people's time. And then I think the way I speak, the limitations of my speech, perhaps I found to be um, more clearing as I was making these episodes. I think I can limit it a bit more, um, minimize a bit more, mitigate it a bit more when I'm uh, editing a bit faster or, you know, more concentrated content. Um, by the way, two years, eight months, and 27 days, that works out to be exactly 1,000 days. Isn't it funny? I found it ironic that 1,000 days was spent in... Uh, I don't know whether the developers themselves spent 1,000 days. Maybe they did more than 1,000 days in creating this game, but yeah, it took me exactly 1,000 days to do this LP. So, Dragon Alliance 2, I mean, what can I say? It's uh, one of the greatest games, I'm sure, in its genre. Uh, I don't think it has ever been topped. Um, I mean, the totality experience is just so overwhelming. You know, I mean, even counting the graphics, uh, it is really, really that good of a game. And I think, you know, if you have seen some of the episodes, there were some moments that I just felt just... Um, was flabbergasted by how much of interaction and how much of engagement it offered. I mean, all these layers, extrinsic layers, technical layers, just 
work so well hand in hand and gives you so much reactivity and so much of a engrossing loop, it doesn't feel like a grind. It doesn't feel like you're doing any kind of repetition that is, um, you know, hurting toward boredom, which is what I can say for most of the RPGs. Like, you know, mobs just swarming you, uh, giving you experience that you have to like get in order to be the boss. I mean, that is like part and parcel of RPGs nowadays. But this game, I mean, it's similar in the fact that it's a repetition. You know, you're going to sector and battling and stuff like that. But then it gives you new guns, new enemies, new episodes, new quests, you know, things to do, things to try out. I mean, there's so many different stuff that you can really explore more. And then the charm and personality that exudes from the limited amount of writing that I mean, it was put toward the mercs, but then it is also um, supported and you know buffeted by the amount of voice work that is present in the game, and then modding, adding even more characters and more voices, more interactions uh, between their characters. I mean, the whole system is just geared for letting your imagination fly into this uh, tropical island, and then making you know your dreams of taking over a country like this come true. I don't know whether. The time has moved on from the era of Dragon Alliance 2, where you know those um, action flicks have been popular, like Rambo and um, all these other misplaced and discouraged veterans returning and then creating um, kind of mercenary band to help other people in other countries, like tropical countries, Southeast Asia. I mean, given what is happening in some part of the world, um, it might be you know still very relevant. I am Igmus Balkov. Okay, Igmus Pekov, or Pekov, or just Iggy. I am Igmus Balkov. Give. Appreciated. Stop. Okay, you know who I am. We can make a deal. Um. Yeah. I mean, still, it really offers you that kind of charm and personality between the interactions, and. Uh, it's like uh, you can fill in the blanks with your imagination and then I think using your head like that also gives you more um, attachment to this game, which is what really got me, hooked me into this game. Yeah, so um, this game basically um, has it all. I mean, so much options to start with. Like I did sci-fi and lots of guns and with the experience difficulty level, I think it gave me a pretty good challenge. I was just looking, looking for gold dust in the mines, and, and I saw a hole that went down, down below the mines. I saw it, it attacked me fast. Tell you, you run into family oh in gosh. the strangest what places. What the heck is this? God, that's awesome. Spielberg himself couldn't have come up with something like that. Wonder what he'd pay for some of its DNA. The Vinsta's got one. Looks like it's from an evil swamp or something, sir. Yeah! You ever pull a cat inside out by its tail? Well, right there is what she looks like when you're done. Or smaller, you know. Are those real? God, they are. They're like something out of a B-horror movie. God almighty, look at that! Now activating involuntary gag reflex. Um, I advise you to turn off the sci-fi because I think it's an offshoot that is kind of disruptive and not really well telegraphed. Although there are some NPCs telling you that something is uh, wrong and stuff like that, but came as a bit of a surprise and you know took me off from the main uh, story and main progression for a number of uh, episodes. Uh, honestly, could have made around, could have taken around the ten episodes I think, preparing and then battling the aliens and so on and so forth. You know, other perks with the sci-fi mode, like you know, robot and uh, other guns, like prototype guns and stuff like that. So maybe it's worth it in the end. But given the amount of guns available originally, and with the 1.13 mod expanding that roster of guns, or selection of guns, I don't know whether um, sci-fi is actually worth it. Yeah. In the first playthrough, I advise you not to go for sci-fi. Although it could be pretty fun, but yeah. For the first playthrough, I just stay away from it. God, I hope that was the mother of all those things. And then, you know, just going forward, you need to be careful 
I don't know why I'm giving you this kind of tips. You guys will probably all know, like, even better than me what to do. But I found in the end, you know, your squads has to be balanced. It'd be better if you deploy them in the battle individually so that complement your Merc specialty. From the start, I think I just go for jack of all trades and try to develop certain Mercs into a specialist. So, I mean, if you start with some of the jack of all trades guys, like maybe uh, Igor, Buns, for example, then by the end, I think either they'll be specialists or you hire more specialists to really um, give that squad that balanced look. Yeah, so you gotta have a medic scout and sniper and heavy weapons guy that is like four out of eight. Originally, I think it was six per squad, but 1.13 expands to eight, which is, I think, it's a good number. Um, by the end, I have like 30 mercs, and that's a really big number. All right, so then moving on. So, what I'm going to do for the next place now on? Um, well, honestly, I have not really decided upon a game yet. I'm trying to think about. I have a game in my mind, but the game, oh man, it could be more, even more complex than Jungle Lens 2. I don't know whether I should mention it. Maybe I should mention it because you guys might be able to help me. But for now, I keep that under the wraps because I don't know whether I have the, the willpower to wrap my head around this interface that's tantamount to driving a, uh, some old Russian tank or something. I don't know. It just feels really archaic. But then I'm just trying to learn the game. But then, yeah, I mean, I must have a plan B or C or something or even D if I cannot really start this LP series quick enough. I'm still learning, so there's like a really high learning curve, and then um, I like to really try it, but then I don't know whether it's even LP friendly. There are camera controls, but I don't know whether you can really use a camera to uh, get to the nitty gritty details of things and then really get you into the action, which is what I'm going to go for given the concentrated content I'm going for. Um, but then if I cannot do it, then I moved on to some other game that is more mainstream, well known, or something. Uh, so I think it's going to take one or two weeks because um, I'm trying to like get to the tutorials and stuff to learn it. Um, and then also I need to clean up my PC because of the whole detritus of things that I have still lying around. And I'm really, uh, really uh, lacking the hard drive space to record anything else because of the, you know, the episodes themselves for Dragonlands 2. Uh, the rendered uh, episodes themselves are 1.1 terabyte. And then the supporting files probably are going to be um, probably multiples of that. So I really need to clean up my PC and maybe even reinstall Windows 10. You know, it's an upgraded version of Windows 7, and it has been running for like five years or so. So maybe it's time for me to start over, update the software, reinstall everything, and then see whether it's going to help me. Um, yeah, and it's going to take some time. So I'm just kind of measuring what I'm going to do. but. I'm going to do it. So it's going to take some time, unfortunately. And um, maybe I can, meantime, I can probably record something that, you know, as a feature. Um, if you have given me suggestions on what games to play, then I'm going to put that into a, like one episode feature, more concentrated form of what I feel about the game and uh, whether I had fun. It's not a review per se, but it's more of a complete thought about a particular game. So I'm going to also try those uh, features. It's not going to be like per week, but it's going to be something that I do on the side. I'm thinking right now, uh, doing some of the games that still bear Dragon Lion's name, but came after Dragon Lion's 2, that could give you a different look of what the future for this franchise will hold, might hold. And also I can, um, I'm thinking about doing some other classic games on the side as this one episode feature. I was thinking about maybe streaming on Twitch or even live on YouTube, but I don't know whether I really have the chops to do it, especially with the way I speak. The need to really heavily edit my speaking. Let me show you one um, such attempt. What is happening actually with my speaking and uh, what I do and what I feel about my speaking is. Now, this is the latest episode of Dragon Lens 2 that I just completed, episode 240. And you can see that this is the game footage which I edited heavily. Um, editing heavy really, I mean, heavy, heavy editing really doesn't decrease the amount of episode per se. So this original file is a um, video clip, not video clip, commentary, no, 
This one, I think, is originally 1 hour and 48 minutes and 40 seconds. But then the entire episode on this comes out to be around, um, let me see, 1 hour and 46 minutes. So all this editing, all this editing only cut 2 minutes of content. Like jittery, um, jittery transitions and all this, I don't know, some kind of a fidget with the mouse and stuff like that. I try to cut it out. And some of the dead, um, uh, dead space, I guess, in terms of audio and video, I try to cut it out and try to put together uh, some of the things here to make it shorter. But then, you know, just two minutes out of one hour and 48 minutes. I mean, it's not really worth it, especially when I do the timestamps. The biggest problem right now, I don't know whether this is a mental block or mental problem that I have, is that this is the voice track. And you can see that how I really hate my voice. I hate the way I speak. And I try to like correct all the all the little stops and all the little awkwardnesses and all the ums and ahs and does and that and whatever safe words or crutch words that I use. And I don't know. I don't know whether I should really do this anymore. Just takes too much time and too much editing and uh, too much commitment, I think, in terms of, you know, it doesn't really do anything for viewer retention or um, attraction. I mean, this is just one, one episode. For every 240 episodes, episode I do this, this is just, I don't know, for me personally, I think this is just indicative of that I really need to improve my speaking and this pandemic really didn't help matters because, uh, you know, much less interaction with people, much less, much less. And then uh, I just, yeah, I mean, my speaking ability is probably deteriorating uh, really quickly. But then I need to improve. And I think uh, you understand. Once again, I went a bit too long. Episode 239, which is, um, yeah, similar in terms of what I do, in terms of editing, cutting up and just slicing, dicing my voice files. Yeah, so maybe I should really try to tone down the editing and then be more natural in terms of speaking and then improve from within and not really use the crutch of editing. So hopefully trying to correct the way I speak, the correct the way of speech on my part is going to give way to more content down the road and uh, less stress on my part. Yeah, so new LP is definitely coming up, but I don't know exactly when it's going to be, maybe in two weeks' time. Um, I need to fix the problem with the computer, maybe invest in more drive space perhaps, or clean up and maybe reinstall Windows. And um, yeah, some little things on the side that I need to do and also some other things that I need to take care of. I need to learn the game or just have to find other games to play. Yeah, so thank you once again for um, visiting this channel and hopefully more good times could be had uh, like I did with Jingle Lines 2. Hopefully it's not going to be as uh, grueling, you know, for me and for you guys. Um, but then, yeah, I mean, there was an interesting experience. Um, definitely, and then showed the power of what a good game can do a person, uh, especially when it's a genre that he likes. So once again, thank you so much for uh, staying with me on this update and hopefully soon i'll be able to give you a heads up on the new series and hope you can join me that time as well better be good forgive the intrusion your highness but one of our north patrols has been attacked Elliot, you idiot! We crushed those rebels in Omerta! How can it be? You are aware that I have other things to do, Elliot? Uh, um, yes, Your Highness, I am. I regret the interruption, but it is important. Our reports confirm that the rebel party seems to have grown bolder, my queen. There was an attack in Drassen. An attack in Drassen? They were summarily slaughtered, I presume? <laughs> well, Your Highness, I regret to inform you, but they were victorious. They controlled Drassen, Your Majesty. They were victorious? Victorious? Controlled Drassen? 
Oh, Elliot, you idiot! What is it now, Elliot? Uh, um, your Highness, I have an urgent report. The rebels attacked us at our northeast, Sam. And they were defeated? No, my queen. Um, rather, we were. Apparently, the guards were taken quite by surprise. Oh no, Elliot. By surprise? By surprise? Elliot, you idiot! Elliot. Good, I'm glad you've come. It seems you've forgotten to tell me something. Your Highness? Yes. When did the new helicopter arrive? And how much has it cost me? <clears throat> Your Highness, that is not our helicopter. What? <clears throat> In fact, I was just now coming to report this to you. The rebel forces, it seems, have secured the services of one Mr. James Bullock, or Skyrider, as I believe he is known. Oh man, not again. Elliot, you idiot! What is it, Elliot? Uh, um, actually, Your Highness, it is rather bad. How bad, Elliot? And might I add that my nerves are especially edgy right now? Your Highness, these foreigners, these mercenaries, have overrun Chitzina. So far, however, ours has been a valiant effort. I am not interested in valiant efforts. I am interested in maintaining my power and making money. I can't make money if those mines are not mine. Don't you see? Oh, Elliot. Elliot, you idiot! You are becoming synonymous with trouble, Elliot. Uh, um, I regret to inform you, Your Highness, that I do indeed have a troubling report. Our Northwest Sam site is now in the hands of the rebels. Elliot, you idiot! That's so, Elliot? Yes, Your Highness, it is so. Oh no, not again. Well, Elliot, you idiot! Okay. Oh, yeah, why did raise your pores? Hello, Elliot. I am really beginning to dread our little meetings. Uh, um, I am sorry to hear that, Your Highness. I only wish to keep you informed on the progress of our troops. And what progress have you to report? The Central Sam has been overrun by the mercenaries. Our troops did not anticipate... Did not anticipate it? Elliot, you idiot! Oh, allow me to hazard a guess. You bring me bad news. No, I do have some good news, Your Highness. You are still in power. <clears throat> However, it seems that the mercenaries have taken Grum. Elliot, you idiot! I hope for once you have a good reason to disturb me. Uh, um, uh, my queen, I believe I do. It seems these mercenaries, while a small group, are apparently well-trained and equipped. They have recently secured Alma. Alma? 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 Elliot, you idiot! Oh, boy. Elliot. It seems you and my advisors are not keeping me informed. Not keeping you informed, Your Majesty? Baleem, Elliot. Those goddamn mercenaries have captured Baleem! With all due respect, my queen, are you certain? How do you know? How do I know? Elliot, you idiot! What is it now, Elliot? I... Oh, flowers. How lovely. <laughs> and so thoughtful. From my troops, no doubt. 
Uh, um, not exactly, your highness. From theirs. What? Uh, um, yes, your majesty. It seems the flowers are a gift to your highness from the mercenaries. Perhaps they have taken a fondness toward you. Poor idiot. Elliot! You idiot! 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 Hello, Elliot. Uh, um, uh, good day, Your Highness. I have an urgent report for you. Not today, Elliot. I can't bear any more bad news. I have important decisions to make. Uh, um, with all due respect, Your Highness, you need to hear this. The mercenary forces have been spotted on the outskirts of Maduna, and... On the outskirts of Maduna? For Christ's sake, Elliot! They're practically in my backyard! Maybe we should have a barbecue! Invite them over! Have some champagne to celebrate their little victories! How can I conceivably make any new plans when all the plans I've made have failed? Maybe I should have hired those mercenaries rather than the stumps calling themselves my soldiers. Would you like me to extend them an offer, my queen? Ah! The Elliot! You idiot! Ah! Oh my god. Elliot is dead. Folks. She's shot him in cold blood. Joe? Queen! Who's that guy? Make sure all my soldiers know their whereabouts, and see to it that these mercenaries are executed. I want their remains, such as they may be, when my forces are finished with them. Oh, clean up that mess. Uh, actually, oh my your highness... <coughs> yeah, he's alive. I'll, uh, I'll clean it up myself. It's not a bother, really. <coughs> What? Oh, my lord! Elliot, you idiot! Are you so stupid you don't even know how to die properly? Can't you do anything right? <coughs> Apparently <coughs> not, your highness. I will try harder. <coughs> Joe, do your thing. <laughs> and then come with me. And Elliot, summon my military advisors. Right, Queen. Eh, Joe. As you command, Your Highness, should I summon the doctor to treat the injuries here? Oh, no. Elliot, you idiot! Spell the end of this LP, because uh, it's gone long enough. So, I mean, if it ends the LP right here, then this is going to be it. Missed. Okay, aim better. Okay. Please aim better. I guess it doesn't work.